Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are taking a look at endpoints and endpoint slices. So endpoints track the IP addresses of the pods assigned to a Kubernetes service. If that's confusing, just give us a moment. We got a graphic, okay? So when a service selector matches a pod label, the pod IP address is added to the pool of endpoints. So pods expose themselves to services via endpoints. Okay, so uh, here's the graphic that I'm talking about. So the idea here is that we have a service, right? And we learned that services are used to load balance to multiple pods. Um, but the question is, how does a service link to a pod? And the answer is endpoints, all right? So remember, each pod has a dynamic IP address. So the idea is that you are storing the dynamic IP address in endpoints, okay? And they exist in like this endpoint pool, all right? So it's the connection between services and pods. And rarely, rarely do you ever have to manipulate these or do anything with the endpoints, okay? But if you want, you can do kubectl and get those endpoints. Now, there's this concept of endpoint slices. So endpoint slices break up endpoints into smaller manageable segments, and each endpoint slice has a limit of 100 pods. So why? Like, why do we care about endpoints and endpoint slices? Well, uh, according to the documentation, it, it's when you're scaling out, uh, there is a cap on endpoints, like the amount of endpoints you can have in a service. And so that's where you run into scaling issues. And then that's why you need endpoint slices. And also the term endpoint just comes up in the documentation all the time. And endpoints is a general term, uh, meaning uh, like when we talk about APIs, an endpoint would be like you point your request, your HTTP request to an address or an IP address, and that could be called an endpoint. I just kind of wanted to clear that up so that you knew that endpoint was a very particular thing in Kubernetes. And we're not just saying the general word endpoint, okay? 